So let's talk a little bit about Zenith Air. This is a bit of a new frontier in stylus alignment because until Wham Engineering found a way to image Zenith Air using microscopy, there hasn't been a way to determine how well your stylus has been mounted to your cantilever in the first place. So Zenith Air is a measurement of the deviation from perpendicularity between the stylus's contact edges and your cantilever. Now when you align your cantilever for uh, offset angle uh, using a Wally tractor, well, you're using the cantilever because that's all you can see, but the cantilever doesn't read the grooves, the contact edge does. So what Zenith error measures is the deviation from perpendicularity between the stylus's contact edge and the cantilever. If you know your cartridge's Zenith error, it can be corrected for using the Wally Zenith up to about five degrees. Most head shells won't offer more than five degrees of rotation of the cartridge in the head shell. Of the last approximately 100 cartridges we've analyzed here at WAM Engineering, the average zenith error is about 2.2 degrees, but we have seen error as high as 14 degrees, with no correlation between the price of the cartridge and the amount of error exhibited. The percentage of cartridges that have less than or equal to a half a degree error is less than 20%. This means that four out of five cartridges would benefit from some zenith error correction. So what kind of mechanical problems does Zenith error create? In order to answer this question, at WAM Engineering, we did something called finite element analysis. And in this animation, you will see on the left a stylus that is transiting a perfectly horizontally modulated groove, and you'll see it moving left, right, left, right, as it should be. On the right is the same stylus, but with a Zenith error introduced. Notice that it is not traveling just left, right, left, right in the groove. It is actually traveling in an ovular pattern. The zenith error has actually caused induced vertical excursion. So as you can see, this induced vertical transiting of the stylus through an otherwise perfectly horizontally modulated groove is mechanical error and will result in a number of subjective problems during playback. What you will get with this situation is you'll get a shrunken soundstage. Imaging will be much less specific and less pinpoint. Uh, high frequencies won't have a nice long decay or be as extended. Dynamics will definitely suffer. And overall, there will be less coherence to the musical picture, less intelligibility. Now, many of us live with this situation right now because we don't know what the zenith error is for our, our cartridge nor do we have a means without the Wally Zenith to correct for it. So the solution is to send your cartridge to us here at WAM Engineering for analysis so we can determine what your Zenith error is along with your ideal azimuth angle and rake correction. We are working on two separate paths to create a product for you to be able to measure this at home yourself. But until then, sending it to us for analysis here in the lab is the only alternative. So once your Zenith error for your particular cartridge has been determined, then with the Wally Zenith, you will choose the proper radial line as called out in the report that we provide for you. And you will align your cantilever to the null points on that radial line. As always, reach out to us if you've got any questions at all by email or by phone. We're here to support Wally Tools customers get the most out of the groups. So there it is. Enjoy Analog Forever.